Hey guys, Madison here and welcome back for another Film Friday, round two of Madtober 2022. And this week I am watching Poltergeist. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited and nervous last week, Halloween, we started off with a banger. Thanks to everyone who came out for that premiere and I hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> me hiding behind the blanket for half of the reaction because that's how it felt. <laughs> So I don't know if this week's going to be the same or not, if Poltergeist is going to be as scary as Halloween. I don't know. All I know is what a Poltergeist is, so I expect chaos and mayhem. I know nothing about this movie except Steven Spielberg was involved in the making of this movie. But apart from that, I got no idea. I'm going in just as blind as I was on Halloween, so I'm scared, I'm nervous. I had to run and get my comfort blanket because I realized I forgot it <laughs> and I had to run and go get it because I was like, I'm not doing this reaction without it. Uh-uh. I learned last week that I'm going to need it. So, um, yeah, I'm ready, guys. Without further ado, let's check out Poltergeist. National Anthem. It's not the music I expected this to open with. <laughs> Should I be expecting a jump scare? Is it about to scare me? No. <laughs> Hello. Talk loud, I can't hear you. Little girl has ghost sense. <laughs> Creepy. Such a nice, peaceful looking little town on the surface. <laughs> had a bird die on my back porch yesterday. Actually, not yesterday. It was two days ago. Really weird. Oh, gosh. That didn't... That was the worst timing. When it's night time. Spooky clouds. I love Golden so much. I had a golden retriever. Mom, when it rots, can we dig it up and see the bones? <laughs> the dog's trying to dig it up. Keep us. She has goldfish too, they're gonna die within a couple weeks. Ugh, why is there a creepy clown in there? Why? Yeah, the Darth Vader helmet back there. I love it. You know what happens when you overfeed goldfish? They die. There's even a little R2 back there and a Tauntaun! We've got the Tauntaun. Han Solo. Good night. I feel an incident coming on. And me when I was 10. You know, once I slept walked four blocks and I, I fell asleep in the back of this guy's car. He, Big Ed has me examined for like bruises and hickeys. <laughs> you name it, old guy. I'm so glad I don't sleepwalk. That would terrify me. I wouldn't be able to sleep with that thing sitting in there either. I mean, whose idea was that? <laughs> Yes, 
Chewie's face is much more pleasant. I don't like the tree, Dad. This an old tree. It's been around here a long time. Kind of looks like a face on the side of it. Looks at me. It knows I live here. Two, Two three. three. Okay, but I bet you next time you're going to be able to count to at least four or five. Nothing creepier than that flickering light. little girl <laughs> why you are so obnoxious you drive me nuts okay you're a big bark bag you're a doggy bag well who did you mean who's here the tv people you i can handle that skull yeah well breakfast first all right got it for It's not normal. Oh, honey, you're gonna ruin your eyes. This is not good for you. Are they gonna move out again? Oh my gosh. TV people. Uh huh. I would be out of there so fast. <laughs> I'd be gone that day. do it with him standing there. Why is she excited about this? <laughs> Putting your child in there? It's like, it's like there's this tickling, you know, right in here, and, and it starts to pull you. Diane and I were just wondering, uh, if you, this is going to sound strange coming from me. Uh, about that. Look, Mr. Ted Hill. Uh, ben. <laughs> Diane, my wife, and I were wondering, Ben, uh, something's funny going on here next door. Dishes or furniture moving around by themselves. <laughs> I think this family's crazy now. Did nothing bad happen? It's like another side of nature, you know, a side that you and I are not qualified to understand. <laughs> What? Oh my gosh. Not the TIE Fighter. Yeah, take that creepy clown. Please, don't give it back. Check the 
kitchen. No, no, I'll do it. <sighs> She's gone. She's gone. <laughs> Sweetheart? Baby? Diana! Did you find her? No, I've looked everywhere. This, this is crazy. The swimming pool. The swimming pool. The swimming pool. <laughs> She's trapped in the TV. Caroline, thank God. Baby. Holy crap. This just went from zero to a hundred. <laughs> Has there been any publicity about these events? Absolutely nothing. I just want you to find our little girl. I gotta say, I've never seen somebody eat, oh, almost I eaten by a tree before. Yeah. That's scary stuff. Well, how many disturbances have you recorded in the room? We don't go in the room anymore. It was a child's toy. A very small matchbox vehicle just rolled seven feet across a linoleum surface. The duration of the event was seven hours. He's like, child's play? Trying to hold ourselves together as a family. <laughs> of course, no one's been sleeping much. The determination as to whether your home is haunted is is not very easy. I what I. There's a difference. Did you see that? Hauntings can go on for years. My daughter is alive somewhere inside this house. These experts are less expert than y'all are now. So, Carolyn. Uh, it's mommy, sweetheart. Look at the door. <laughs> Hello, baby. Do it, baby. Sweetheart, this is stay away from the light. The light is dangerous. Don't go near it. Don't even look at the light. Dr. Lesh. <laughs> She's all over me. It's her. She's all over me. Well, is she dead? If she's a ghost? Mommy! A very angry something is here. Something took a bite out of me. You got that? Yeah, that or the worst muscle spasm in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Ritz crackers. Where did that cut come from? What the crap? What the crap? <laughs> Guys! <laughs> it's like making him see things. Oh my gosh. Is he like 
possessed or something? Or is it just, can it put stuff in your head and then leave? I thought he was dead. I thought he was dying and he was just falling apart <laughs> right there. I have actual chills, guys. Ghost. Roll it back. All of them. Is that our house? Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, he buzzes like I'm getting out of here. See you guys later. Okay. Give that dog an Oscar. That look back though. <laughs> and this watch is only a few years old. And it's not yours. Well, I'm off. I'm leaving Ryan here with you. Marty won't be coming back. I would imagine not. Now bring some help. Try not to worry. If you got some cable problems here. Yeah. Cable's been off for a couple. Got some electrical problems as well here. But we don't want to lose the best rep we've ever had <laughs> to the flu or other opportunities. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're starting phase five right here where we're standing. All of this can be your master bedroom suite. Almost $70 million worth of dwelling and properties. We've already made arrangements for relocating the cemetery. <laughs> You're kidding. Oh, come on. I mean, that's sacrilegious, isn't it? Besides, we've done it before. <sighs> when? In 76. Right down there. Never heard anything about it, though. Well, it's not the sort of thing one goes around advertising on a billboard or on the side of a bus. Whomever might complain. Nobody's complained until now. So that's what happened. That's why they're angry. I am addressing the living. I'm sorry. That's the room my son and daughter used to occupy. I was trying to answer her with my mind, and she couldn't hear. I, I just don't like trick answers. Your daughter is alive and in this house. <sighs> and will you do anything I ask, even if it comes contrary to your beliefs as a human being and a Christian? Yes, I promise. I wouldn't agree to something when I didn't know what she was going to ask me to do. These souls, who for whatever reason are not at rest, they're not part of consciousness as we know it. They linger in a perpetual dream state. A terrible presence is in there with her. So much rage to her. It simply is another child. To us, it is the beast. Now let's go get your daughter. <sighs> Caroline, it's mommy. Can you hear me? She's under restraint. What? Who, who's restraining her? Quickly. Who is she more threatened by, you or your husband? Caroline? Be cross with her. She's dead. Be angry with her. You'll never see her again. Caroline, you answer your parents or you're going to get a real spanking from the both of us. <laughs> is she all right? Diane, ask about the light. Honey, do you see a light? Now tell her you have to do it. Tell her you have. Run to the light, Caroline. Run as fast as you can. Tell her before it's too late. 
Run to the light, baby. Mommy is waiting for you in the light. I need to go for this. Now, Please let them come back. Yes, let's let's move somewhere else. Are you gonna do anything about this? No what? Your new gray? I mean, I don't know. I can't really How you feel? Oh, I'm I'm good. I feel a little hungover, like I've been asleep for a few days, but she doesn't seem to remember any of it. Honey, I gotta go to the office. I'm gonna pick up some stuff, just clean up a few things, okay? Okay. Why do I feel nervous? Uh... <laughs> portion of the comb to be sure and time that everything is wet. You get out of the solar system. Good night, sweetheart. Oh my gosh, guys. I can't. I can't. It's about to come out again. Why is that freaking clown still there? Why? The Unibine's pillow. Mm. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, are you kidding me? I lost a headphone. I lost a headphone. No! I'm actually crying. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh.
did we spend the night in this house? Why? Oh my gosh. Please let this family be in peace. Yeah. <laughs> I would do that too. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> that TV better not turn on. I swear. <sighs> Guys, I, I need to think about it, but that might, that might be the scariest movie I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I'm not okay. Ooh. Whew. That escalated so far beyond what I thought it was going to, like the heights I thought it was going to reach. I, like when I went into this movie, it's called Poltergeist. I expected one ghost, like terrifying a family, just messing with a family, making their lives misery. I did not expect like 10 ghosts and just the absolute madness that ensued. I don't know. I, I was expecting pranks and things moving and all of that, but it went next level when Carol Ann got abducted. I did not see that coming. And then trying to free her and I was like, is she dead? I, did, I didn't know what to expect. And I was worried about her. I was so relieved when they finally said she was alive, but when she got sucked into that closet, that was one of the most terrifying things I've ever seen. And him, the, the boy almost getting eaten by the tree, I was just like, <gasps> that, was, that was the part where it went next level because before that it was like slow burn. And I was like, okay, it's moving some chairs around. It's like sliding them acro across the floor, you know, nothing big happening. Well, <laughs> and then when that, like the CGI hand came out of the TV. That was the biggest fake out in the whole movie, honestly, because I was like, is it just gonna be like a CGI ghost kind of thing? And I was like, I can handle that. Cause I mean, let's be real. The effects are kind of dated with regards to CGI and all that. So I was like, that's not gonna be that scary. <laughs> I have never been so wrong in all my life. <laughs> because that was the least scary part was like the, the hand coming out of the TV or the ghost floating down the stairs. Those were the least scary parts to me. The most scary things were like seeing the effect, like when she was getting pulled up the wall and across the ceiling and the, the portal to hell opening in the closet. <laughs> it was freaking terrifying. And honestly, oh my gosh, that part where she was in the swimming pool at the end, freaking terrifying. For a second, I was like, is she gonna drown and the kids are gonna get taken and it's gonna be a horrible ending. Sorry, I'm hearing creepy laughter in my headphones. Holy moly. Um, that, I don't like clowns in case you can't tell. I don't like clowns. <laughs> and I kept thinking the whole movie that clown was like the kid was gonna look over and the clown was gonna move and he wasn't gonna be there. And it never happened. And then it happened at the end. And that really got me. That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
the scariest, the scariest is the unknown, and so that's why, like, not when the moments when you weren't really seeing the ghosts, and it was just, you were just seeing the effect of the ghosts on things, were the scariest parts to me. And you finally think the house is clean, and you're like, yes peace, you know, happiness, we can finally leave. And I'm like, why are they spending the night in this house again? How dumb can you be? I just, and then I thought, oh my gosh, we're in for a tragic ending. And I was going to be so upset because I was really invested in this family. <laughs> I really liked all of them. I liked Steven, Diane, Carol Ann. Um, I loved all of them and I was invested in what happened. And I even got invested in the, um, investigators that were there helping them and oh my gosh the melting face in the mirror i'll be real with you guys i wasn't even looking i was like looking at the back of his head and not in the mirror because it was so grotesque i couldn't even look anymore <laughs> i was i was so terrified oh my gosh please no. i hope i don't have any nightmares about this movie because <laughs> oh Whew, that was, um, you guys have done me in this week and we're only on round two and I've got two more to go for this month. That was freaking terrifying. I, yeah, just this, the last 10 minutes of that movie about did me in. It just, the scale went off the charts. It went so far beyond what I was expecting. Again, just like the graves popping out of the ground, the coffins falling open and just absolute chaos and mayhem just rocking the whole neighborhood <laughs> there at the end. <laughs> that, that place is going to be empty the next day. I feel like everyone's going to be moving out of there. But um, yeah, moral of the story, don't build neighborhoods on top of cemeteries. At least move the bodies. <laughs> the guy just moved the headstones. Oh my gosh, that is just so creepy. Like, I'm even creeped out just sitting in the dark right now. That's how bad <laughs> the movie got. So directed by Toby Hooper and there was a lot of Steven Spielberg in there like produced by and all of that. Spielberg never disappoints. At least he hasn't so far with me that's for sure. Absolutely terrifying. Wow. Um, yeah at first I was wondering how scary is this movie gonna be? Is it gonna be as scary as Halloween and then like halfway through I'm going holy crap. <laughs> I could talk a lot more about this movie, but right now I just need to let my adrenaline come down a little bit, so <laughs> I just want to uh, thank you guys for uh, recommending this to me, but also how dare you. <laughs> oh, it was a blowout win on the poll this week. This um, destroyed the competition and now I see why you guys wanted to scare the crap out of me. Congratulations. Oh my gosh. Thanks guys for... Uh, <laughs> joining me for another film friday this week and i will be back next week for uh, the third week of madtober 2022. <sighs> i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction i'm sure it was an entertaining one watching me be so terrified um but yeah thanks guys for watching be sure to join the channel if you're interested in supporting me or head on over to my patreon patreon.com slash madison k teams and you can see the full length reaction to this movie there if this um more condensed version was not enough and you want to see the full almost two hours of terror head on over to my patreon and find it there um and consider supporting the channel because i can't do this without you guys um, so thank you again for all your support. Thank you for carrying me past the 15,000 milestone. We're halfway to 16,000 now. So remember to uh, click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will be super, super grateful. And yeah, I will see you guys next week for round three of Madtober. Bye guys.